In this video, we're going to show you how to make this beautiful fall centerpiece. I think you'll really enjoy it. And if you're not into piecing as much as this involves, then the pattern also has just a simple centerpiece that's just using a beautiful fall fabric. And I think you'll enjoy this video. Now, Xerox sure leaf sides. You're going to make 12, six of each, a left and a right, and you're going to start paper piecing. If you're not familiar with paper piecing, look at some of our other videos. But it's really fun and very easy. You're going to start with area one, and you cut a piece big enough to cover area one, and it's right side away, and all of your fabric is placed on the unprinted side of the paper pattern. And you hold it at the light, and make sure all of area one is covered. Then you whack a piece big enough for area two, and you place it right side down so the bulk of the fabric is opposite where you're trying to cover. And you hold it down and then sew that whole line using a smaller stitch length. Trim the extra out of the seam and it folds back and covers area two. And I'm just gonna keep doing that all the way down. Then I'm going to cut, cut it out on the leaf shape Take the paper now, I'd out. like to show you how to uh, get around a problem that paper piecing has. And this particular pattern does have that problem. Sometimes you can design your way out of it, but this one I couldn't. The area that needs to be covered here is wider than the area that needs to be sewn. So when I lay my fabric down and it flips out, sometimes this area is not covered. And that can be frustrating. So one way around that is... Place, don't whack your fabric first. Just place the whole piece down like that. Big, much bigger than you need. Turn it over and sew it on that printed line. Trim the extra out of the seam and fold it back. Then what you want to do is fold the areas that it's trying to cover. And here I, I have a fold that shows me all of this fabric needs to cover this area. So then it's really easy to trim the fabric exactly where I need it. And I know that that point is going to be covered. So that's just a little trick. The two sides have been paper pieced all the way down. This dash line you don't paper piece. That is a fold line for your leaf. Then you're going to cut it out on the outside solid line. Take your paper out and put the two sides together and sew them using quarter inch seam or whichever seam you use. Make sure it's, if it's less than a quarter of an inch, that's fine. Just make sure they're all uniform. Then I cut out my fusible fleece or felt and then I cut it smaller and fused it to the, to the um, wrong side of my pieced fabric. Then I put a backing fabric larger than the leaf and sewed a quarter of an inch all the way around keeping this part, this part here open. Now that it's cut all the way around, I'm going to turn it. Turn it right side out. Just put your finger up through the opening and have the top of that leaf come through the opening and then I'm going to press it making sure that all the points and all the shapes are well defined okay then I'm going to take my pattern that's in your pattern um, cut it out place it on your side here and mark where you're going to stitch and I put, put the two pieces together and I'm going to show on that marked line and that will be how the leaves are attached and it makes a new leaf in the middle. And then we're going to do that all the way around to the six sides. And you'll see how adorable now this here is. here is our beautiful centerpiece finished. It is just wonderful and it was fun. It is a lot of piecing. And so in this pattern, I've also provided a pattern of the leaf motif, but you don't have to piece all the leaves. It's just a solid piece. It's a little bit smaller 
but you would do the same thing. Cut out your leaf pattern and your backing pattern and your fusible fleece and cut your fleece smaller, press it, fuse it, sew a quarter of an inch around and then cut it out, turn it, turn it right side out and I like to hand sew this opening closed. Just tuck it under so that it looks nice and then just blind stitch it. And then once you have these different sections, you put them, you put them the back sides together, make sure they line up at the point. Then you're gonna take the pattern of the leaf and place it there, mark it, and stitch it, and then it, it opens up like that and it just is really cute too. They have such cute fabrics that you can do this with. And I hope this video has helped you.